In a sport that never stops moving, even MMA junkies can struggle to keep up with all the latest headlines. If you missed any of Tuesday's biggest news, let us catch you up to date with The Comeback. Well, the fighters are in Las Vegas, and it's time for UFC 196 Fight Week to officially get underway. But before we start, a quick question. Why are UFC featherweight champion Conor McGregor and lightweight contender Nate Diaz fighting at welterweight? Well, apparently Diaz asked for 165, but McGregor, the lighter man, told him to feel free to come in at 170 instead. You know, the fight's supposed to be at 155. Uh, Nate says he wants it at 165. I said, <clears throat> no, this kid's moving up from 45 to 55. You told me you could make 55, you gotta make 55. Um, he can't make 55, so I said, let's do 60. He can't do 60, so I tell Connor, he can't do 160 pounds, he wants to do 165 pounds. Connor says, you tell him it's 170. <laughs> so now we have a welterweight bout. Connor McGregor is moving from 145 pounds to 170 pounds to fight Nate Diaz. With UFC 196 just a few days away, it's definitely the Conor McGregor show right now. But UFC 197 is on the horizon, featuring the return of former UFC light heavyweight champion John Jones in a grudge match against current champ Daniel Cormier. But Jones recently told MMA Junkie that while he's certainly focused on Cormier, he's most passionate about a potential rematch with Alexander Gustafson. I have, to have those feelings a little bit more with Gustafson than I do with Daniel. You know, I, I beat him uh, by a uh, unanimous decision, so I don't really have this feeling where I need to put him away or, you know, to get rid of him once for all. Um, I just need to fight him because he has the belt right now. That's really what this is all about for me. So, um, but what you're seeing, you know, I feel that way more about Gustafson. I need, to, I really need to fight him again just to, to, to get rid of all doubt. A failed drug test has seen Hector Lombard sidelined since January 2015, but he returns later this month, and the Cuban judoka could make a quick return to the UFC welterweight title picture as well. Lombard faces Neil Magnet at UFC Fight Night 85 in Australia, but he told MMA Junkie Radio he's ready to face anyone in the division, including Roy McDonald and Demi Maya, whether they want him or not. You know, I know, I know, Ro I know, Rory, I know, Rory's not gonna fight me. He's scared of me, and uh, you know. Uh, he was, you know, there was a talk like he was going to whatever, to, you know, to fight me, and then he says, "Oh, I'm not ready." And then, Jimmy Maya, he didn't want to fight me either. And that's the comeback for Wednesday, March second. To read more on the latest news in MMA, including how Matt Mitrione is attempting to have his loss to Travis Brown overturned, as well as why Rampage Jackson is being challenged by a ghost from his past, check out MMA Junkie.